and I watched uh, I watched The Crow. I I kind of touched on it the other day that uh, Nope or Dope. That movie is definitely a nope. Oh boy, that movie sucked. The 2024 The Crow. Yeah. See, the problem is. The problem is that the casting was fine. Standalone, the casting was fine between him and her. They're the two main characters. But the chemistry between them was terrible. They did not, they were not a good couple. They did not seem like a good couple. And everything that they, tr they did in the movie to make it seem like they were a good couple just came off as like forcing and it came off weird like they were two crackheads kind of they weren't actually crackheads but they came off like they were two crackheads just like having some sort of a weird affair and not actually like some kind of a deep love story that they were going for you didn't it just it did it didn't land it didn't land and the story also had nothing it was in no way related to the original crow from i think it's the 90s was the original one i feel like that was from the 90s that movie was good i've actually re I, I watched it maybe like a year ago and i remember being like this movie had a sort of a cult following and i remember liking it when i was little um and when i rewatched it i was like it was good but I wouldn't rewatch it again. Like, it was good enough, basically. But what they fundamentally didn't understand when they made this one was the character. They didn't understand the character and who he was. They made him a Joker-esque kind of a character. Like, they made him... There were scenes in that movie that didn't make any sense to who the character is. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to sell out anything, but... Like, there was one scene where he gets on the stage after an opera and, and the people are all screaming and running and stuff. And it's just too, it's, it's too, it's like, it doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with who the character is. He's trying to deal with the situation with the love interest. And he's like, he's going from a, I'm happy to I'm an unhappy kind of a situation. He's not going from a... A situation where he's unhappy with society like that they're not understanding the motivation of the character and they just they got him all wrong they everybody does like a joker thing now and it's so irritating because it's like not every character is the joker not everybody is perturbed by their societal problems like that's not who the character was it, it was so boring too oh my god the movie was so boring oh they took about 40 minutes to finally get to the point to finally get to, like, what the story is even about. It was, so, there was so much of it that could have been edited out that was just nonsensical. And the one really good scene was, like, an action fighting scene. And even that was extremely annoying because they put loud opera music, like, in between. And I was like, oh my god, do they not realize how annoying opera is? Like, it just, it was too, I, they need, they needed to make it more subtle or something. I don't, or just not do that. Cause it's so, it's so cliche doing the whole like opera fighting scene, you know, going in and out of that. It's so cliche. So a million movies have done it. Don't do it. And you did it terribly as well. Definitely, definitely a nope. I, uh, I just, I, I wanted to turn it off after like the first 20 minutes, but I was like, maybe once they actually get past this introductory sort of setup maybe it'll be fine Ooh. not worth it absolutely not worth it oh and to get a 4.7 out of 10 on imdb that's bad that's pretty bad what is that a vibe check <laughs> i've never seen that what is geek vibes 1.5 out of 10. That's so bad. Oh my god.